very good evening to uh, the man that uh, I normally speak to most weeks uh, here at Tabcor Park, more often than most, and it's Chris Alford, and nothing's really changed since I've left. So uh, good to see you back, Chris, in the winner's uh, circle. A very good performance by Marvellous Mac. Obviously having his first run for the Brent Lilly Stable, he was always a horse that always showed have uh, above average ability, and uh, he comes here uh, first up and wins uh, in great fashion. Yeah, he'd um, been trialling quite well prior to tonight. Um, draw was a little bit tricky and he had to do a, a little bit of work, but um, he, did, he did a really good job. He certainly did. Uh, you uh, weren't afraid to come out a, a fair way from home. And as we know here at Tabcorp Park, when you, when you come out three wide here at the 1100 uh, without cover, uh, not often you win. Uh, it's a pretty tough task. So for him to be able to do that first up, that was a mighty win. Yeah, for sure. And it just um, gets a little bit rocky on the corner, so I didn't really want to be three and four wide into the last turn. That's why I sort of wanted to get up there. And um, he felt really good turning in the back. And I thought might nearly be able to cross to the fence, which would have been good, but couldn't quite get there. But um, we got one off and just able to balance him around the turn and then go again in the straight. Nice race uh, for him first up. It was a T4 or better. And obviously from what we've seen him, he, he raced in some of the uh, early classics as a young horse. Uh, he's very capable of going all the way through to, to uh, winning Metropolitan races. Yeah, for sure. He'll probably, you know, ha maybe have a couple more country runs and then I'm um, pretty sure he'll win an MO easily. Nice to catch up. Divine Diva were able to uh, lead and uh, dictate and uh, just sprint up the straight. Worked that well. Yeah, well, race experience uh, sort of counts for a lot. Um, and, yeah, she's uh, had a few runs, uh, the favourite having its first start. So, uh, small field. She, we were allowed to dictate in front and, uh, yeah, she got the job done well. Uh, well done uh, to David Aiken there, uh, the trainer, and I'm uh, just having a quick look at uh, your night ahead. Uh, King Solomon, he's going around in race five. Yeah, his last run wasn't so good, but uh, prior to that his form had been first class, so uh, we'll forgive him his last run. Every time I'm watching uh, a Sky Channel race, whether it's uh, interstate or uh, here in Victoria, I'm seeing your colours. You must be uh, clocking up a few miles uh, in the car at the moment, Phil. Yeah, yeah, just doing a few Ks at the moment. Got a lot of race ones, so got to race them and take them where they can win. So that's what's happening at the moment, yeah. Were you at Wagga last night? Yeah, Wagga last night, yeah. You had a, did you only have the one horse I'd seen in or you had a few in? I had three, a uh, third, a second and a winner, yeah. That was a, a good night. Uh, how many got him work at the moment? Uh, 17. 17. Is that uh, probably uh, number-wise? Uh, they'd be, uh, at the moment, uh, reaching a bit of a max for you? Yeah, so 17 with me and Julie. So, yeah, it's max for us. Yeah, we can't handle many more. So, But, yeah, we're just getting a handful of horses back to their best. So there's a couple to follow this bloke back from uh, Spell. So there's a few good ones to come start racing now. So... What have you, uh, looking at uh, at your team, and we'll, we'll talk about this horse in a few moments' time, but it just uh, obviously you've got a bit of a mixture of horses, so some, some young ones, some older ones, some claimers, a bit of everything? Yeah, there's everything there. I've got four two-year-olds that uh, come along nicely and um, yeah, a couple of claimers, and I've got a handful of four or five-year-olds that are you know, about to start racing just behind this bloke. It go pretty good, like Mac up and A-list is about two months off, so... Yeah, I've had a few ready to race, Sue. So. But I'm sure you've got a, a big thrill as well for uh, winning their first race here tonight, Derby. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they people like this deserve everything. And with these sort of horses, you know, it's great for them to win a race. So I'm glad to drive it for them. It is, and it's a, it's a real pleasure. And uh, I'm sure Beck puts her heart and soul uh, into this horse. And... Turning for home, it was really a case of uh, who wanted to win. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, I sort of tried to move out up the top of the straight, but I couldn't get out. And, um, you yeah, know, hopefully, hopefully got the, sp the sprint lane, um, you know, and she wanted to get through and got it. And, you know, it was good for me. And got the job done. And uh, she's been pretty consistent, hasn't she? Like, uh, you go through her recent form. She, she hasn't been far away. She's run 12 placings prior to tonight. But she's always been very honest and, and always gives her best. Yeah, every time I've driven her, she's been super honest. And, you know, she's been unlucky to win one so far. So, you know, it's just great to break through with her. Yeah. Uh, you driving anything else tonight, Darby? Yeah, I've got four more. Would, uh, do you recall what they are or would you like me to run through them for you? Probably best I run through them for you. <laughs> How's that sound? I know you're probably on a bit of a high after that uh, that win. Uh, so what we're, uh, we're up to uh, the next event. Uh, what have you got uh, coming up here? Uh, 
Okay, yeah, fire up Franco. Yeah, he should go all right. It's tough enough field, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah, you've picked up a polar opposite as well, race six. Yeah, he'll go all right. I think he went pretty good last start um, at Bendigo. So, you know, I don't think he's worth being their mods, but it's tough enough race as well. Chris Alford, the winning driver, he was uh, tucked away there along the pegs and the heavens opened up and he found a gap, as he normally would as a world champion driver, and he's got the job done again. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Rob. He did really well. And, um, you know, Calvin and Sam doing a great job with him. he uh, been racing well in the metros and just needed a little bit of luck tonight. And when the run came, he really sprinted through well. He's a pretty experienced horse. He's obviously spent quite a bit of time uh, here uh, with uh, with Andy and Kate and uh, obviously he's made his way uh, down to, to Kelvin's team. Yeah, I'm not sure um, for the reason for why he swapped, whether he was purchased or whatever, but, uh, yeah, no, he's going to do a good job for the for the connections anyway. He was uh, pretty strong going to the line when, uh, when the gap opened up. Yeah, he had a really cosy run, three back the fence and just needed, you know, the break. It was nearly going to swing second into the sprint lane, but they all sort of fanned, and um, once he saw daylight, he really sprinted well and, you know, could have gone another half a lap. Yeah. Got a good time next to a name, 154.9, uh, winning here at Melton. Uh, able to lead pretty comfortably tonight, Chris. Yeah, you know, even though she was a short price favourite, she still had to earn it, and as you see, she ran very good time, and, uh, yeah, it was a good win. She uh, seems to be a little bit on the uh, loafy side uh, at times where she seems to be under pressure, but to her credit, she continues to find and dig deep. Yeah, when she gets out in front, she sort of waits for him a little bit, but um, she had a good kick when it was time and, and held on well. It was a good uh, good run and hopefully a nicely bred uh, horse and certainly uh, hopefully more uh, more in store for her. Yeah, she was probably just, you know, a length or so behind the good ones last year and didn't have much luck in the you know, the size stakes and races like that. So, you know, a bit stronger again this year. She, she could measure up and, you know, go with the better ones. Uh, well done with uh, what's been a, a marvellous horse, I'm the boss, and I suppose it's uh, been able to uh, lead into uh, Rapper's Delight tonight. So there's a couple of special moments with a couple of special horses. Yeah, no, for sure. And... Um you know, both these horses have done so much to me and I just can't thank their connections enough for, you know, for trusting me with them. And, uh, yeah, they've just, they've been awesome. Boss, uh, the other night, first up uh, after uh, a break and to, to run at the distance and how strong he was, it was a phenomenal performance. Yeah, I, I thought so too. You know, I've, I've got nothing but love for that horse and uh, he, he just tries so hard and he just thrives off the long distance. I, I was, oh... Not worried, but, you know, it's always a question mark on how they're going to go first up. But, um, yeah, he sorted that out pretty good. Is he a horse at home that indicates that, you know, you've got him uh, pretty spot on? No, not at all. He's, he's very lazy at home and he uh, he always have to have a horse in front of him because he just he won't go on his own. And then he comes out and he just races so keenly and, you know, so good. So he definitely knows race day. What's the plan for him? Uh... Victoria Cup, probably, yeah, and then just to be aiming him for the uh, for the Inter Dominion. Well, uh, I would imagine this uh, little fella here, uh, he might be uh, on a similar path. Yeah, for sure. That's that's uh, he's going to go. I think he's going to go in that uh, is it the popular arm next week, and then uh, Victoria Cup, and then you know be um, targeted for the Inter as well. been a very consistent uh, filly and mare. She's got a good record, 26 starts, 7 wins, 11 placings and she's uh, always thereabouts. Yeah, no, she's always consistent and that's a credit to the to the, blo to the bloke's train. Uh, you know, um, you know, you got to have your horse spot on and bring it to the races for it to be consistent and that's what they've done. Credit to you, getting some good opportunities. All different little, you know, different trainers, the smaller trainers, a few of the bigger trainers giving you a go and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Exposure and uh, getting out there and uh, meeting plenty of other new people. Yeah, exactly right. You know, I'm happy to drive any sort of horse in anywhere. So as, as long as the opportunities keep coming, you know, I'll be grateful for that. Small fields tonight. Uh, racing's been pretty uh, pretty much, uh, I suppose, predictable in a sense. Uh, not a lot of moves, and that sometimes happens in small fields, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. You know, we're lucky enough with, um, you know, we're able to get to the top tonight. And, yeah, but with small racing, yeah, it is a bit predictable sometimes.
Chris Helford bringing up four winners. Well, it's pretty much a, a normal thing for you, Chris, but uh, good for Janet uh, winning uh, her race here at uh, Tabcourt Park with Keep the Dream. Well done. Yeah, that's for sure. Janet, you know, just mucks around with a couple, but she does a really good job and they're all nice to drive and good that this one could break through tonight. She's been going around for a while. Yeah, she has and she's been very consistent. Like, I mean, she's run a, a number of placings, uh, 12 placings prior to tonight and never been too far away and always just found it a little bit hard. But she's a nine-year-old mare, so for, to Janet's uh, credit, she's kept persevering uh, with the girl. Yeah, that's true and, you know, perseverance pays off and... Now she's found the win. I think it would have been a restricted tonight, but she she'll go on and win a normal, you know, to soon. Vincent shoots clear now. Is this a star on the rise? Vincent brains them. Vincent by 15. How big was that, Vincent? That was outstanding. Kevin Rock's tight and better. It's an all-star show in the Auckland Cup. And Vincent, Vincent too good. 